For the empirical gas laws, we have shown that volume varies in proportion to pressure, absolute temperature, and moles. So we know that V is proportional to 1 over P, Boyle's law. We know that V is proportional to temperature, absolute temperature, that's Charles's law. We know V is proportional to number of moles, that's Avogadro's law. We combine all these, we know that V is proportional to a number of moles times our absolute temperature divided by our pressure. This implies that there must exist a proportionality constant governing these relationships, meaning they must be equal based on some constant. Since they are proportional, we can set these we can set volume equal to the number of moles of gas times the absolute temperature divided by pressure if we can figure out what is that proportionality constant. So V is equal to some R, some constant that we're going to call capital R. Where R is the proportionality constant referred to as the ideal gas constant and is independent of the gas species. We can calculate R at STP using the ideal gas law because the only unknown is R. We know that at STP, okay, at STP, one mole of any gas has a volume of 22.4 liters at 273 Kelvin in one atmosphere of pressure. So we got we have all the variables. The only thing that's missing is the R. So we can just plug into the equation and solve for R. So V is equal to R N T over P. Rearranging and solving for R, we get R is equal to VP over NT. V at STP would be 22.4 liters. That's the volume of any mole of gas. Uh, pressure is one atmosphere since we had STP. Uh, we're talking about one mole of a gas. And we know the temperature at STP is 273 Kelvin. Multiply that out. No units were canceled, so I get all the units come with my proportionality constant of R. 0 0.0821 liter atmospheres per mole Kelvin. Memorize this common value for R. There are other values of R that can be used, however, caution should be taken in the differences in units. You've got to make sure that your units cancel. In this particular case, we're using this one because we know what units we're going to plug into our ideal gas constant, ideal gas law. So, memorize. Thus, the ideal equation is usually expressed in the following format. PV is equal to NRT, okay, the ideal gas law, where P is typically in atmospheres, V is in liters, and the reason those are there because we want them to cancel with our R units. N is the number of moles, R is your universal gas constant, which is 0.0821 liter atmospheres per mole Kelvin. Notice that the R value with the correct units are given to cancel with the units and the other variables. And temperature is in Kelvin. Let's try to do a problem. An experiment calls for 3.5 moles of chlorine gas. What volume would it be? Would this be if the gas volume is measured at 34 degrees C in 2.45 atmosphere? Well, notice we only have one set of conditions here, so obviously we have to use the ideal gas law. This isn't a combined gas law because I'm not going from one set to another set. Since the problem involves pressure, temperature, Volume in moles, we will use the ideal gas law. We know the temperature, we know the moles, we know the pressure of the gas, so we can easily solve for that volume. So we get PV is equal to NRT. Rearranging this and using Kelvin temperature. We'll get volume is equal to NRT over P. N is given to us as 3.5 moles. R, we memorize as 0.0821 liter atmospheres per mole Kelvin. Um, pressure is 2.45 atmospheres. 
Remember the 34 degrees C was given to us, but we have to change that to Kelvin, which is 307 Kelvin. Then make sure my units cancel. Everything cancels except for my leaders. So therefore my final answer is, if I multiply the math, multiply the numbers, 36.0 liters. Homework 43.